guys so this is my second video yay and um i'm gonna be doing face of the day outfit of the day and also um my skincare routine which has changed dramatically since my last video first my face i generally have the same type of makeup every day except for my lips i tend to change my lips a lot and um right now i i'm using the urban decay 24 7 glad on pencil in zero i make a winged out kind of liner and then i have a little bit of the same pencil on the bottom like half of the lid and then i um go over it with my pencil uh my carbon shadow from mac and then after i put a, a little bit of shimmery shadow from like the dollar store or something on the inner corners of my eyes and yeah that's how I do my eyes, and I curl my lashes sometimes. And if you're wondering what's on my lips, it's Viva, it's MAC Viva Glam Cindy. It's a really pretty color. Looks like this. It's a very wearable color, and I like it. It's not too pink and not too red. Um, so for my outfit of the day, I generally wear very casual clothing. I don't have the best style or anything, but this is what I wear when I go to school. And for today, I wore like... Um, this necklace from Forever 21 for a couple of dollars. This tank top from, I think, Urban Planet for like two dollars. This really soft, um, and warm cashmere sweater from Old Navy for, I think, seven dollars. And then I have my eleven dollar Forever 21 skinny jeans. And I was wearing a pair of black boots with it, which I forgot how much they cost. But they're probably okay. So first, I'm going to be talking about... Um, the skin care routine I've been using now, but I'm gonna put quickly just talk about this mask first because um, I want to put it back in the fridge um, because it's yeah it's gonna go bad. So first, it's this mask that I heard lots of like a lot about on this forum that I go on, and I felt like I'm d I was done with homemade mask already because they tend to um, break me out a lot, and for some reason I tend to be like really allergic to homemade items. Like I'm not allergic when I actually eat or drink those products, but when I put it on my face, my face gets a really bad reaction and I stop using it. However, this mask has really helped with my acne. Like it dries up those really ugly, like big acne things that you get, and those whiteheads, and it helps clear up your scars over a long period of time. I've been using it for not too long, around two week, two to three weeks, and I felt that it's had good results after a week. I use it around three times a week, and um, these products individually are supposed to be good for your skin. And this is um, the Biofield, um, like those yogurt drinks you get at um, those Asian supermarkets. I got from it from TNT, and yeah, it looks like that. It comes in like a pack of five. They say to use Yakult, but um, you can use like a rip-off version like I did. And the main ingredient though they want in it is called Lactobacillus Sassy Culture? I don't know. This is right there. I'll put it in the bottom bar. But yeah, you mix this and it's called mung bean starch. It's like a like green bean starch basically that you get from any Asian supermarket. And then you... Um, you mix it into a paste, you kind of eyeball how much to put in, and they put us paste on your face for leave it for 20 minutes and then wash it off. And then, oh my god, it just leaves makes your face like look more awake. It just brightens up your whole face, and then the next day it starts to dry up your acne and etc. So that's what I really like about it. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to do this mask, um just comment below and I'll do the mask and I'll be right back. I'm probably not gonna edit this out, but I'm just gonna Go put this away. Okay, I'm back. Um, so anyways, so my skincare routine has really changed since I have last talked in a video um, on YouTube. And that's because Clinique in short, doesn't happen to everyone, just happens for me. After I talked, raved about it in that video, I basically started destroying my skin. After that, um, the toner started like really drying up my skin, and my skin is like really oily, so I didn't really understand that. It just basically stripped off all the oil in my face, made it really dry, no amount of moisturizer could help it, it just kept flaking even more, and I don't know, it just made me break out like a lot. My skin was in its worst condition ever. Even more worse than before I started Clinique, which is really bad. 
so I immediately stopped using it went to Sephora and got new recommendations which I'm really glad for and I really thank the guy who helped me forgot his name but he's he works at Eaton Center um, the Sephora there if you guys want to go and check it out so this is what I use so first I start with actually if I have a makeup I use my clean and clear wipes and um, just one swipe makeup comes off and then, if I have any more excess makeup on my face, like foundation or concealer, I use my MAC Cleanse Off Oil, which is really good and smells good. It leaves your skin feeling really nice and soft. Third, I will use my Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. Usually, I think that this gets raved a lot, and I usually don't go for things that people rave about because it tends to not work for my skin for some reason. However, this product's been pretty good to me. It's worth the price and like what people say about it and it's a really great cleanser I just like put a little bit and then I put it in, rub it in circles around my face and then I wash it off really good and worth its price third I go in with my Clarins um, my toner I know like everyone may think that all toners have like alcohol in it but they actually don't for me I did not want to go for any toner that has alcohol again because alcohol is really bad for it's not bad for your skin but I think it tends to strip away too much of my oils that I need like daily and stuff so I use um, an alcohol free uh, with iris combination or oily skin toner from Clarence it looks like this it's really good it smells really good and like leaves your face like really nice looking finally I go in if I'm in, if it's the summer, I use my Clinique Super Defense H uh, Defense Moisturizer SPF 25 for combination oily to oily skin. It's been well loved. However, I still have so much left, as you can probably tell. I'll probably use this again in the summer, like spring summer when it comes. However, right now I use another cream, which is also by Clinique. It's the I think it's a pink one. It's like a gel kind of format. It's for more drier skin because my skin tends to get more dry in the winter. So yeah, it's not here right now. It's somewhere. I don't know where I put it. So yeah. Um, and also, uh, what else? I think once a week I do a mask. I know I told you guys I do that mask three times a week, but that's specifically for acne. This is for um, just moisturizing my skin and just having a glow. And because I want to, like, do a spot night. That's why. So, generally, um, I use the My Beauty Diary Mask, which you can get in Taiwan for, like, $7. Or you can get in Canada for, I think, ranges from, like, 12 to $13 Canadian. And I got mine when my friend went to Taiwan. I got her to buy some for me. Right now, I'm using the... The Ali, uh, oh sorry, why am I say Ali? The Apple mask, and it looks like that. And it's just a mask that you put on your face, and you leave it on for however long you want. I try to leave it on for like an hour. It smells really good. I take it off my face, and then I just rub in the excess things that, like the gel that comes off of the mask. And in the morning, your face will smell like apples, and it will feel really nice and moisturize. And it makes my skin feel like look really nice. And it's not one of those whitening masks. I don't really don't like masks like that. It's just a very moisturizing mask for me. And it helps me dry out my pimples, which I get a lot now because I'm still recovering from the clinique. So yeah, that's a mask. I use a variety of masks. It just depends on what my needs are for that week. For so nowadays I need more moist moisture. So I use a moisturizing mask. That also helps with my pimples because I need my acne to get better. And yeah, I hope I haven't rambled on too much. It's already at nine minutes. I always, I, I swear, I'm gonna say that in like every video now. But yeah, if you guys want me to do um, a tutorial on how I do that mask for your face for the acne, just leave a comment below. And I hope you guys have a nice day. I'll see you next time. Bye.